Hi guys, welcome to Dr. BKM Institutes once again. I hope you had a great Diwali celebration. So we are back into our regular momentum talking about the speaking today. When it comes to OET speaking, again, I always explain you the same things, but these are important things to be explained first. That you should take the name of the patient or you should ask the name of the patient or you should confirm the name of the patient. Second most important thing is the fluency. Third most important thing is to utilize three minutes. In three minutes, you can write anything on the role play card. After three minutes are over, you will start speaking and you will speak for five minutes. While speaking for five minutes, examiner can be very reluctant. So you have to be positive. You should be able to speak without any break for at least five minutes. So that is the normal practice you should do in front of mirror or you should record your voice. Always keep a mobile phone nearby you even if you are practicing alone. Then keeping your mobile phone near you at the same time recording it. So like the way, so you record this thing in this. So recording it and then listening to your own voice gives you a lot of, lot of satisfaction and also tell you a lot of things which you can improve. Because when we listen to someone speaking, we find, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong. In the same way, when we listen to our speaking, we find this is wrong, this is right. So you start doing right things by listening to you. The major problem why people face struggle or people have struggle in speaking is because they do not record their own speaking and they do not listen to it. That is the major problem. So first again, to, to write on the task for three minutes. Second is to practice speaking for five minutes because examiner can be super reluctant. And also to maintain this fluency. As we all know, in OET speaking, there are no marks for the facial gestures. So if I miss, if I switch off my recording at this point of time, the way you are able to listen to me right now is the main, main voice that will go. That means audio has the marks, whereas facial gestures and other things do not have the marks. Most important thing that you all need to know while doing speaking is that you will not you know, that session that you are speaking would be all audio and the examiner that is sitting in front of you does not have any marks. So these are the important instructions you should know. And the last but not the least, the most important thing is to summarize the task. Summarize does not mean that you always have to say, I reassure you. You can use the word, I reassure you that you will be fine. You can also say, I would like to highlight the key points of our conversation. So now I'm going to take a speaking role play and will try to execute this role play in front of you. I have not read about this task. So in the final exam, whether you are a doctor or you are a nurse, you will get only this role play, this much. So candidate role play. So nurse setting, emergency department. That means you are a nurse at the emergency department. Your patient is a 45 year old who is being admitted for the shortness of breath, heart palpitations, and chest pain. So your patient has come in the emergency department with heart palpitations, shortness of breath and chest pain. The patient is highly anxious. Obviously, when he's having problem in breathing, he's having palpitations, he's having chest pain. So he's highly anxious and stressed by these physical symptoms. The attending GP had decided to carry out some diagnostic tests. So doctor has already ordered. So these are the lines you should write that doctor has already ordered. So if I write it here, I hope it is visible. Doctor has already ordered. So you should write this kind of grammar in the first three minutes. Doctor has already ordered some diagnostic tests for you. I hope it is visible to all. Doctor has already ordered some diagnostic tests for you. Uh, the provisional diagnosis is panic attack. That the patient has panic attack. That means patient does not have any major problem. He just had panic. Ask about the patient symptoms. So first question that you have to ask. So obviously, again, you should write everything. So you should write in the exam. Could you please? So please don't worry. You have three minutes. It's a lot of time. Could you please tell me about your symptoms? So patient will explain you some symptoms and don't worry about the spelling mistake. Just learn what I'm teaching. So this is the first thing that you should ask. Could you please tell me about your symptoms? So patient will tell you about the various symptoms, various things. So you just write those things in your final exam as well. So you have to keep writing on all this stuff 
to make it better for yourself. Okay, taking you back to the task. Then reassure the patient and acknowledge the patient anxiety. So patient will say, I am highly anxious. I am highly stressed. So you have to reassure and you need to understand that, okay, I understand that you are anxiety. Instruct the patient to do deep breathing exercises and to calm down. So you have to tell the patient, please take a deep breath and calm yourself down. So these are the simple lines. That is why OET is such an easy thing when it comes to especially speaking part. Then explain the appropriate test like heart monitor, ECG, blood pressure test, blood test. So you have to explain about the test that doctor has already ordered you that you need to undergo ECG. You need to get your vitals checked, including the blood pressure. Also, the blood test is very important so as to reach to the right diagnosis. So please keep writing by the time you are listening to my video and try to speak it yourself for five minutes. Continue the advice. Continue to advise the patient to calm down. So again, patient will become anxious after listening to test. So you again say, please understand as I have mentioned earlier, present perfect, I have mentioned as I have mentioned earlier, please calm down and take deep breaths. You will start feeling better. Refer the patient uh, to counseling for anxiety and to prevent panic attacks. So now you just need, so you will get all this role, role play. In the final exam, you will not have this thing but today I have, I have thought of including you this thing. So examiner will get this thing. So examiner case, what, what is according to examiner? That examiner, uh, you are a 45 year old school teacher. So patient or examiner. Examiner does not have any marks again. He's just patient. So patient. Okay. So talking about the patient, just a second. I have to erase all these things. And please guys. Uh, you know, do not write anything. Thank you. So, so you are a so patient is forty five year old school teacher. He has lot of uh, stress of work. So that is the main problem that he is having. He is having lot of stress of work lately. The morning he experienced sudden chest pain accompanied by the breathlessness and a rapid heart rate. He thought he was having a heart attack. He called the ambulance. And now he is in the emergency department for the treatment. That is where you are the nurse. The medical staff does not seem to be overly concerned about his condition. So the patient is worried that why nurse is not concerned about my condition. He is upset and very agitated. So in these kind of role plays, patient will be very upset, very agitated. So you have to manage that thing. You have not experienced these symptoms, complain about distracting this and this, complain that medical staff is not doing anything. So when he will say, you guys are not doing anything for me, I don't know why are you not taking me seriously. So you say, please calm down and relax yourself. Also, I would really encourage you to take deep breath exercises because this will help you in calming down. So please understand. Also, I am going, I am giving you a glass of water. Please have this water sip by sip and also take deep breath, you will start feeling better. So then he will tell you about thoughts. He will be annoyed with you. So this is a part of job. So if patients get annoyed, do not get worried. So it's part of his job. Okay. And then you think you could die. The patient will say, I think I could die. He might be having a heart attack. Be annoyed with the nurse. You cannot calm down because of your symptoms. So patient will not calm down till the end. So now I will execute this role play in front of you guys. And also I'm recording it for you all. So you don't have to worry. So now I will tell you how to go about this role play. So you will say good morning, good morning. Or you don't have to say even good morning, Mr. John. So you have to assume the na name. Good morning, Mr. John. As so you can say what, what is the role play? As I can see uh, from your case notes that doctor has decided to carry out some diagnostic test and you are having some serious symptoms. Am I right? So could you please tell me about your symptoms? So I'm just going to write this line for you all. Good morning, Mr. John. I have seen your case notes. And according to your case notes, doctor has advised. So present perfect. Mm -hmm. According to your case note, doctor has advised you to undergo some test, undergo few tests as, as means because you are having 
some symptoms some serious symptoms so patient will say yes nurse of course i am having serious symptoms please try to attend me don't worry we all are here to help you so this is the main line that will help you to get along with the patient we all are here to help you so first of all first of all could you please tell me about your symptoms so this is how you should talk to your patient so now again i will say good morning mr john my name is bupesh i am a nurse over here and i have seen your case notes that doctor has advised you to undergo some test as you are having some serious symptoms am i right yes nurse of course i am having some serious symptoms i can't explain you i am in lot of trouble don't worry we all are here to help you and i assure you for the best services so first of all could you please tell me about your symptoms nurse i am having so many symptoms you know i have i am having lot of stress at my work and in the morning i could feel sudden type of chest pain i had breathlessness i am having lot of problems please nurse help me don't worry we all are here to help you as i have just mentioned so i need to know about your symptoms are you having any other symptoms yes nurse i am having many symptoms apart from this i am having stress i am having anxiety i am having breathlessness and also my hands are shaking and i am having heart palpitations okay so first of all i understand that you are having all these symptoms i would like to reassure you that there is nothing to worry well nurse how can you say that there is nothing to worry i think it is a heart attack well as per the doctors checkup or examination at the moment you are not having any kind of heart attack you are just having a panic attack as you have told that you are having lot of work recently so you are having a just kind of a panic at the moment so you are not having any kind of a heart attack still doctor has told you or advise you to undergo few tests to make it sure that you are not having any major problem so he has told you to undergo ecg and also you need to get your vitals checked like your blood pressure and also it is important to undergo blood test well nurse i will undergo all these tests but i am really kind of amazed that you guys are not even worried about me well we are really concerned about you but as per the examination of the doctor you are not having any major problem is just you are you are getting a bit of a panic because of the work stress and that's it and i would really encourage you to calm down and to have deep breathing exercises so you need to take a deep breath like this and second thing you need to have this glass of water you can take this water sip by sip it will relieve your anxiety well nurse i i just cannot understand you i am telling you again and again i am really anxious and you guys are not taking me seriously well we are taking you very seriously and again doctor has checked you very nicely examination has been done and there is nothing to worry and also we will conduct some tests to make sure that you are not having any major problem so what i am doing at this moment i am not telling the patient that you are having major problem rather i am speaking positive that doctor has already advised some test to see that there is there should not be any major problem as far as doctor's current examination is concerned you are just having a bit of a panic attack which can be relieved with deep breathing exercises and calming yourself down well nurse i am seriously i cannot understand you i i, I think that i would die don't so you have to say no you will not die we all are here to help you and uh, i reassure you for all the best services and also we have already started so this is this will further reassure the patient we have already started uh, doing your uh, checking your vitals and also your blood test have been ordered so don't worry somebody is coming soon laboratory people are coming soon they are going to take your blood for the sample and then you will be all good but nurse why am i having all these symptoms well that is what we are telling you that you are just having the panic attack problem at the moment so you don't have to worry i will encourage you to go for a counseling session as a counselor is a well trained professional who will explain you everything about how to control your anxiety so you are just having bit of anxiety due to your work and that would be relieved by attending a counseling session and counseling session sessions will further help you to prevent the panic attacks in the future as well are you getting my point 
well okay nurse but are you sure i am all right of course you are you are all right and again we are doing all the necessary tests which are required as per the moment what doctor has checked you according to doctor you are just having bit of a panic attack because of the work stress and to relieve it a counseling session would be a great help and i reassure you that there is nothing to worry we all are here to help you and we will provide you the best services okay mr john okay then now let us check your vitals and we all are here to help you all good okay take care yes sir so that is how you do the role play in this kind of a role play that is how you start and that is how you end please listen to this video two three times and subscribe our channel if you have not contact us on 7696734256 for the best oed coaching and please listen to this role play 2 3 4 5 10 times as many as times you can because listening to one role play at least two or three times is very important to make a difference in yourself when you listen to role play just once you learn nothing from it you can just appreciate the person who is speaking like if you listen to this recording you will say oh sir speaks very nicely but when you listen to it second time you learn something from it when you listen to it third time you learn lot of things from it then you try on your own recorder then you again listen to the video whatever you are doing wrong then you again try it with your recorder and you become perfect so when you do one role play one recording three four times you become a perfect person and even one role play can make a lot of difference to your preparations and you can become excellent so this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institute talking about the whole oet speaking and in final exam you will have two role plays of this kind this is one role play of 3 minutes preparation and 5 minutes speaking and then you will get another role play in which you will get 3 minutes of preparation and 5 minutes speaking you can write anything on the role play you don't have to look at the examiner even because facial gestures do not have marks you just have to talk about the role play the most important thing if you have noticed in this role play what i have done is that you can shuffle the task means every point is not important to go in a sequence whenever patient ask you anything even if you have to break the sequence of your task it is important to respond to the patient's problem so don't try to you know kind of go in a sequence always answer the patient if there is any answer like if patient says i please please tell me what is my digno diagnosis then you can say first of all please understand mr john i have to take i need to ask you some questions then i will conduct an examination after knowing all the symptoms and all the signs doctor can make the right diagnosis so this is the, these are the only lines where you kind of violate the patient or you you not violate means you do not answer the patient you say please understand first of all we need to collect the symptoms then i need to examine you to get your signs then doctor will make the right diagnosis so mr john please do not try to make any diagnosis by yourself because it is not good only doctors are the right person or the authorized person to make the diagnosis if some role plays of this kind otherwise you can break the sequence is just about having a good communication with the patient and making him satisfied again this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institutes assuring you for the best oet coaching and please listen to this role play at least 5 times thank you very much